How's it everyone? In today's world, it never has been easier to become a business owner. Yes, you have those traditional small businesses like selling t-shirts or stickers or owning a small restaurant. But you are also a business owner if you resell things like on eBay or on Amazon or you make YouTube videos or stream on Twitch and even sell things on Depop or Etsy. No, the business size does not matter either. You could be making $100 a month or $100,000 a month. And if you own a business, you're going to want a business credit card. There are many advantages of owning a business credit card and having it separate from your personal credit cards. But in today's video, we're just going to focus on one credit card in particular, and that's going to be the Chase Inc. Business Unlimited card or the CIU card. I will cover things such as how you earn points, how you can redeem those points, and also how this credit card may be the best fit for you. The Chase Inc. Business Unlimited card is one of three cards in Chase's Inc. business lineup. The other two cards are going to be the Inc. Business Preferred card and the Inc. Business Cash card. Each of those cards are different and unique in their own way, but one of the main differences is the reward categories. And the Chase Inc. Business Unlimited card only has one reward category to worry about. With this business credit card, you will earn 1.5% cash back on every purchase. There are no other special reward categories to worry about, whether you're shopping online, you're paying for gas at Costco, or buying other supplies and materials, it doesn't matter, you're going to be earning 1.5% cash back on those purchases. And like the name suggests, there are no limits, there are no caps to how many points you could earn with that 1.5% cash back multiplier. To give you a better idea, let's say that you spend $1,000 a month on business expenses. That will then equate to $1,500 chase points a month or 18,000 chase points in a year. Of course, if you do have more business expenses than that, you'll be spending more and earning more credit card points, but also you won't have to worry about a spending cap on your rewards. And if you're a loyal Chase credit card follower, this card should already sound familiar to you because it is very similar to the Chase Freedom Unlimited card. The Freedom Unlimited card is a personal credit card and the Inc. Unlimited card is a business card, but their reward categories are identical. So if you find value in the Chase Freedom Unlimited card already, then you'll feel right at home with the Chase Inc. Business Unlimited card for all of your business expenses. With your new Chase points, you're going to want to redeem them. And on top of that, you want to know the value of those points when you do redeem them. And at a base standard rate, your Chase points from this credit card will be worth around one cent per point. So using the previous example, if you're spending $1,000 a month on your card, you'll be getting around $15 of rewards. Or if you're spending $18,000 in a year, that's $180 worth of rewards. You can redeem your Chase points for things like cash back via a statement credit or a direct deposit, which is always nice. Another redemption option is to buy gift cards or to use your points to pay for Apple purchases through the Chase portal. And the last option that this card gives you to redeem your points is to book travel through the Chase Ultimate Rewards portal. Before moving on, I do want to mention how you can make your Chase Inc. Business Unlimited card more valuable and how you can make the points that you earn with that credit card more valuable. The answer is the Chase Trifecta. The Chase Trifecta typically consists of these three credit cards, the Chase Sapphire Preferred, the Chase Freedom Unlimited, and the Chase Freedom Flex. The reason why the Chase Trifecta is so valuable and powerful is because those three credit cards cover a wide range of reward categories, so that way you can maximize the amount of points that you earn. And as I mentioned earlier, the Chase Inc. Business Unlimited card is very similar to the Chase Freedom Unlimited, so you can actually interchange those two in the Chase Trifecta and you will see little to no difference. Or you could do one better than that and have the Chase Trifecta along with the Chase Inc. Business Unlimited card, so you have four Chase credit cards. After all, the Inc. Business Unlimited card is a business card, so that way you can put all your business expenses on that card and separate it from your personal expenses on the other three credit cards. But the most important thing about this Chase Trifecta is the Chase Sapphire Preferred card. Because when you have the Sapphire Preferred, all of your Chase points are worth 25% more when you use them to redeem it for travel through the Chase Travel Portal. And the good thing about Chase points, much like the point system for other credit card companies, is that you can combine your points from all of these different cards and put them into one account and one lump sum. That means all the Chase points that you're earning with the Chase Inc. Business Unlimited card will now be worth 1.25 cents per point when you book through Chase's travel portal 
as opposed to the normal standard one cent per point that I mentioned earlier. To take things further with the Chase Sapphire Preferred card, you could actually transfer your Chase points to one of Chase's travel partners, and this can easily increase the value of your points to around two cents per point. But if you want to learn more on how to maximize your Chase points, I made a separate video up here that you could go ahead and check out. Okay, so that's how you earn points with the Chase Inc. Business Unlimited card, and also how you could redeem some of those Chase points. Now let's go over the benefits and features of this credit card and see if this card is right for you. This credit card is a no annual fee credit card and it's good to know because it is a beginner business credit card. So it's always nice to have no annual fee on those business or beginning or starter credit cards. Not only do you have no annual fee, but you could actually add employee cards at no additional cost. And there's no limit to how many employee cards you can have on your account. The next benefit is actually kind of a big deal and it's gonna be car rental insurance. And not just any car rental insurance, but primary coverage. This means you can receive a reimbursement up to the total cash value of the car for any collision or theft damage to that vehicle. To be eligible for this benefit though, you're gonna wanna decline the car rental company's collision insurance and also charge the entire rental car cost to this credit card. Also, you do wanna make sure that you're using this car for business purposes only. More benefits that come with this card are travel and emergency assistance services and roadside dispatch. The last two benefits are purchase protection, which covers your new purchases for 120 days against damage or theft, up to $10,000 per claim and $50,000. $50,000 per account and extended warranty protection, which extends the time period of the US manufacturer's warranty by an additional year on eligible warranties of three years or less. The Chase Inc. Business Unlimited card also usually comes with a solid sign up bonus, so be sure to check out what that sign up bonus is and the minimum spend requirement before you apply for this credit card. Is the Chase Inc. Business Unlimited card the business card for you? If you want simplicity and have a lot of business expenses on general cash, categories such as like materials and supplies or software for your business, then this credit card is a good place to start. That's because you'll be earning 1.5% cash back on any of those purchases and any general purchase that you may make. But if you have business expenses at restaurants, gas stations, office supply stores, internet, cable, and phone services, then the Chase Inc. Business Cash Card may be the better fit for you. The Inc. Cash Card will earn you 5% cash back on up to $25,000 worth of purchases in a year at office supply stores or on cable, internet, or phone services. It will also earn you 2% cash back on up to $25,000 worth of purchases in a year at gas stations or restaurants. And the Inc. Cash Card also has no annual fee. Or if you have lots of business expenses for shipping purchases, advertising purchases, search engine and social media purchases, cable phone internet services, and travel purchases, then the Chase Inc. Business Preferred card might be the better option for you. That's because this credit card will earn you three times points on up to $150,000 worth of combined spend in a year for all of those categories. The Chase Inc. Business Preferred card does have an annual fee though of $95. Those are the three Inc. Business credit cards that Chase provides, and I'm sure that at least one of them will be a good fit for you. Today, we only went in depth with the Chase Inc. Business unlimited card but the other two ink business credit cards may be better for you or maybe another business card from a separate credit card company continue to do your research to see which one you can get the most value from but at the end of the day it is a no annual fee credit card so it can't hurt you too much other than that thank you guys so much for watching i hope you have a fun rest of your day and i'll see you in the next one shoots